Welcome to TechPress, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and get started by adding and connecting your WooCommerce products to the Instagram shop. So the very first start is to set up your Instagram business account. So the very first step, you have to make sure they have an Instagram business account. If you haven't already uh, switched to a business account, you can do this into your Instagram settings. So once you have your business account, this will give you access to the features like the Instagram shop and insights, which are essential for promoting your products. And here, what I need to do is to make sure now that I am eligible for the Instagram shop. So for that, what I'm going to be doing here is to look out for a new tab, look out for Instagram shop countries eligibility. Now here, we have an actual article from a facebook.com about the Shopify on Instagram. So what you can do is to make sure that your store, that your country is eligible for uh, selling here into Instagram. If this one is available, then we can continue. If it's not, unfortunately, we cannot sell into Instagram. So if you are eligible, then let's move on for creating our actual business account. So let's focus here into Meta Business Suit. Inside the Meta Business Suit, I'm going to log in. And as you can see, we are into business.facebook.com. Here I'm going to choose my actual business portfolio. If you haven't created a business portfolio already, we can create one totally free here. Uh, you can create a business portfolio automatically. In this case, I'm going to select the one that we can just created. Now that I'm inside here, what you can do is now to link your Facebook and your Instagram account here. So focus now into your settings. On into your settings, what you can do is to focus inside the accounts and go for the option that says Instagram account. So you can add your own Instagram account, your own page, and you're actually good to go. Now what we can do is to focus now into going here inside all the tools. Into all tools, let's focus into the right part. Scroll all your way down until you see the sale products and services. Here, let's go for commerce. And this one should be taking you into business.facebook.com fast forward slash commerce manager. Here into the commerce manager, what you can do is to get started with your actual store and choose the option that says add account. So here, what you want her to do is whether to just using WooCommerce so you can start selling it to Facebook and Instagram. So focus here and to let's say next. And here I choose my business portfolio, for example, this one. Now, my shop name, for example, should be sewed up and the contact email. I can strongly suggest you to be exactly the same that you do have inside Facebook and Instagram. So I finished my setup and here's going to be asking you how would you like to make the integration between the meta and the actual store that you're currently having. In this case, it should be WooCommerce. Now, in this case, let's go back into actual WordPress. Inside WordPress, you should already have your products directly into WooCommerce. If you don't have this, what you can do is to go directly into plugins. Here into plugins, choose the option that says add new plugin and install the plugin that is being called the WooCommerce. Inside WooCommerce, now what you can do is to start by, let's say, adding all your products, listing the image, the variants. So take your time to customize and add your products. Once you have successfully done that, what you can do is now to list all our products directly inside Instagram. Now let's go once again back into plugins and choose the option that says install a new plugin. Here to add new plugin, I'm going to all my way up. If I choose select the type, I go for online products. If I choose the configure settings, I choose to connect the e-commerce platform. In this case, what you want to do is to look out for WooCommerce. And here it's going to be popping up this new section that says go to WooCommerce. It's going to be really important to have your WooCommerce account already been signed in so you can install Facebook for WooCommerce. And if you don't see this, you don't have to worry about that. Once again, let's go back inside here, the plugins, add new plugin, and here just type the word Facebook. And you should be seeing the actual new plugin already appearing in here. So make sure that this one actually goes and it's by Facebook. Now hit now into install and of course hit now into active. Once it is activated, let's make this actual process really fast. Let's go back into the left part. Usually once you sign it in, your product should be appearing here into the catalogs. So I just choose my commerce account 
and all the products that work directly from WooCommerce should be added here inside the Commerce Manager. So lastly, what you need to do is to verify your business organization, add products into the catalog or visualize your new products and add an Instagram channel so you can connect an Instagram account to your shop so you can start testing it from it. So you're going to get into add Instagram and choose your Instagram account in order to make sure that your products appear now into Instagram. Now, in this case, I can't show you the actual real process live appearing here into Instagram because what you need to do is to verify your business in order to make sure that you are ready to set up your store. But that is how we can actually get started by syncing your products from WooCommerce inside Instagram and setting up your actual Instagram stuff. So lastly, what you need to do is just to tag your products into your Instagram posts and stories. So you can create posts or story, tap it to tag products and select the products you want or the features. All of those elements appears if you already have an actual approval of your store inside the actual Instagram shopping. And there you have it guys. Lastly, what you need to do is just to experiment and innovate with different types of content, product offerings and marketing strategies to keep your Instagram shop fresh and engaging. So guys, with that being said, I can now reach you to the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools here into the Instagram shopping, the WooCommerce and so much more elements. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, hopefully this was very useful for you. And well, see you next time.